Hi folks, uh, been, I've been on the bikeway this morning along the the, the uh, chalk stream, the river one. It's one of 200 in the world, it's required, so it's rare. And there's a lovely fish in the lovely carp. And uh, coming back, we're riding a nice path. The, the trees do get, get cut back, the chunks of trees get back where well, they're dangerous. Well, one um, <laughs> stump was sticking out. Uh, it was covered with ivy, so it wasn't recognised. My, my pal was behind me, a bit close, and he uh, he whacked into it with his arm, came off. And as he came off, his wheel caught my back wheel, and I almost came off. I managed to break just before I tipped over the edge into the river. Wonder it wouldn't have been much, not very deep, but. Uh, it would have been a bit of a surprise, so I've had a bit of hurt on the back of my leg. But apart from that, it was a beautiful day, a bit on the cool side, but but it's, a, it's still spring. A uh, lovely, lovely day. So we're, we're here we are. Now I'm going to try to do some sort of abstract oil painting. Uh, colours, uh, I've got some yellow yellow ochre, some uh, bright red, ultramarine, burnt sienna and black. So we've got one, two, three, four, five colours plus black and white. So I'll put a, squeeze out some white, which is there. There we go. Got to use a lot of white. I don't think I will ever, ever get to, um, close enough to what some would call real abstraction. I'm just really trying to abstract the landscape, <coughs> which is which is fine by me. There seems to be getting quite a bit of interest. So we'll make up a sky. That red is very strong. So we'll start with that. Whatever we put down, we can uh, change. Oh, let's get some blue, more blue in there. Yeah. So, all in all, we had a lovely, lovely bike ride, nice cup of tea at Merton Abbey. So that's been my high rise on there. Now, I'm, I'm only going to clean this one inch and a half brush when I've uh, finished painting. So I just clean out the, the brush the best I can on this rough toweling to squeeze. I'm using a bit of uh, uh, linseed oil mixed with a bit of uh, uh, fast drying medium. You can use liquid. But because they're quite expensive, relatively, um, I use some bit of linseed mixed in with it as well. So we'd let that sort of go off a little bit. I would put in a... I was thinking of just a single tree, black and yellow, and just stick it to one side. Uh, uh, I'm right-handed, so we'll stick it here. Oh, hello, Harry. Harry the pussycat. Bit of red. Ooh, that's a bit, a bit too even there. Okay, well that's two trees, isn't it? Well, anyway, it's okay. We'll uh, get some ochre and we'll put a bit of a bit of foreground in there. Just get some paint on. I've primed this with a thick coat of of uh, white gesso. I 
I do like tree masses, masses. I was looking at some on the TV the other day and I think that really does interest me. Uh, lovely brush this one, it's a Pro Art Series 22 Hog Varnish, but it's been well used as you can see. Right, I'm going to leave that now. Uh, I'm going to go and do some more of that sky. So white, a uh, bit of burnt sienna, which is lovely. Uh, that's a bit of white, a bit of sienna. Oops, I'll use Sienna instead of that. Burnt Sienna. I want to change the colour of that sky. I think that that's uh, the red is a bit overpowering it. So it's an artist's quality. Uh, so I'll just change that with a bit, bit of white, a bit of blue. A bit better. a little bit better and let's just bring that into, into there. The, the uh, Bursia is lovely in the sky. Oh, we'll balance it up with a touch of red in there. Okay, so far, so good. I'll uh, put that tree back. And there's some yellow, kind of yellow, pale, a bit of that red. If you want to use a, a uh, ready made green, 
There's nothing wrong with that. What you end up with is up to you. I'm just giving you ideas, hopefully. Well, that's that bright red. Not going to put much of that, that out. That's probably a, quite expensive. This. It's Windsor and Newton. So I mainly use Windsor and Newton and uh, Data Roundy. Let's have a look at that for a minute. I might try and balance that with something in the foreground here, but let's. Uh... Let's get some get that uh, ground much lighter now. Uh, use a bit of bit of red, plenty of white, bit of oil. Try the other side of this. Bit of graffiti. Because graffito. Uh, This is supposed to be one tree. All right, uh, some white, some ochre. Now that's a put in some air holes. I'm 
Akkor a nagy smelt, a szetáposmelt, a kankonás. Pull up, pull up, push on there. Throw that hole in there. Just add some of this. This, as always, is uh, slightly not what I had in mind. Well, I've got some light in that foreground now. Some white and some and that. It goes very well in landscapes. Draws the eye. So we're gonna be tea. Mm. Ooh. It's a white old mess in a rag, look. That's just one side of it. Uh, right. The dark green.
Uh, well, I can't think of anything more I want to do on that. I could put a bit of uh, blue landscape in the background there. Let's have a, let's have a go. A bit of blue, a bit of red, a bit of white. Sort of grey. Uh, well, it's a painting, isn't it? to my cat likes to drink it. But luckily the, um, the most of the pigment falls down to the bottom of the water. Because it's heavier. Uh, but it's still with us. Right, let's, uh, uh, I'm not sure if, if I can get the bottom of it in. It's a bit bit mucky but oh, there we are. Well, it's sort of abstract, really. It's uh, quite a bit of graffiti. No, I won't do any, any more. It's more than that. Let's just push that on. So there we go. I put I put a bit of red, dark red in the uh, in the foliage, uh, just because I felt like it. Okay, folks. Well, thanks for looking. Uh, I'll just move that across. We get more in the centre. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.